by lips and cheerful heart prepare to make your mercies known. Come all that fear my God and hear the wonders God has done. Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is evening prayer for Friday, September the 6th. It's the 15th week after Pentecost and week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 35 and Mark chapter 15, verse 22 to 32. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Alleluia. Psalm 35. Alleluia. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Fight them that fight me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up and help me. Draw the spear and stop them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that plot my harm. Let them be like chaff before the wind. Let your angel chase them. Let their paths be dark and slippery, and let your angel persecute them. For without cause they have hid their net in a pit to take me alive. Let destruction surprise them, and let them be caught in the net they have hid. Into that very pit let them fall. My soul shall be joyful in you and rejoice in your salvation. My whole being shall say, My God, who is like you? who delivers the poor from the oppressor and the needy from those that rob them. False witnesses rise up, they charge me unjustly. They rewarded me evil for good, and my soul is in despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and I prayed with my whole heart. As if they had been my friends or brothers, I bowed down and grieved as one that mourns for his mother. But they rejoiced when I stumbled and gathered themselves together. They gathered themselves against me and surprised me, tore me to pieces and would not stop. They mocked me and put me to the test. They gnashed on me with their teeth. O oh God, how long? Rescue me from their destructions. Rescue my life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among the peoples. Let not my lying enemies rejoice over me. Do not let them that hate me without cause wink eyes at each other. For they do not wish for peace, but they devise plots against the peaceful in the land. They opened their mouths wide against me and said, Aha, with our own eyes we have seen it. You saw it, O God. Keep not your silence, and be not far from me. Arise and awake to my cause. Come to my defense, my God most high. Vindicate me, my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, just as we would have it, we have swallowed him up. Let them that rejoice at my hurt be ashamed and confused, let them that boast against me be clothed in shame and dishonor. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favored my righteous cause. Let them ever say how great you are, who takes pleasure in my prosperity. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and sing your praise all the day long. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Plead my cause, O God Most High, 
with them that strive against me. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, <clears throat> chapter 15, beginning at verse 22. And then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which is the place of the skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he would not take it. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them, casting lots the saw to decide which each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves and saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now, so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For the sick, especially Carol, and for those recovering from surgery, especially Mary Lynn, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, especially Sean and Christian, for the persecuted and for the refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. We pray for all who died, especially Philip, Marilyn, and Wayne, that they may, uh, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. We pray for Kyle, whose birthday is today, and for all who share a birthday today. For the Mercy of God community, for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, and for the First Baptist Church of Denver. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O God, our times are in your hands. Look with favor, we pray, on your child, Kyle, as he begins another year. Grant that he may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen his trust in your goodness all the days of his life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy 